If you haven't already have done so, I would love for you to join Soul Seeker community because if you're watching these videos, you'll love the Soul Seeker community. It's free, it's on Facebook. Um, I just put up a new guided meditation this morning that uh, it's a journey into Mother Earth so you can channel Mother Earth and receive messages. Um, it's really powerful and uh, you need to be in the group to get it. So I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> so, all right, so let's let's go into this. Oh, and another thing, guys, I just did my first group reading online last Friday and it went really well. It was, I was like really excited. I meditated on everybody's questions before, I came with, with the channels and the messages and it was just so powerful and profound um, and just was just so great. We're gonna do it every Friday going forward. So if you want a spot, um, just send me a, a DM and we'll get you in there. Okay, so go ahead and ask yourself a question. Let's get some grounded. <laughs> just reminds me of that dance move that my daughter does on TikTok. <laughs> Let's ground, do it with me. Uh, she's gonna hate me for doing that. So um, ask yourself that question. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull two cards and you're gonna decide now if you're gonna go with card number one or card number two. Okay, I think that's a good option, guys. Card number one. These cards are a little different to you guys. These are more, um, these are called the wild offerings. So they're gonna be a little different than what we typically do. More like oracle cards. Okay. Make it gods. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read that. Here you go. Do you see that? Okay. Release the idea of my, as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. Okay. Oh, I understand this. Okay. Isn't it interesting that all these trees are green and this one's red? I'm sure there's a reason for that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay. So this card is about uh, really connecting to the idea that there is a much higher power than you, um, that there is divine um, protection, intervention, all that happening right now that like what you have right now and, and is, is not because you're lucky or because you worked hard for it, or all that. It's really because like it has been um, delivered to you through you, right? That like you've been granted um, this life, this, you know, these opportunities, all these kind of things and the things that you're worried about really understanding that they're not yours. They're, they're of like the greater whole of the universe of God, of much bigger things. So this card is talking about like letting that attachment go, letting the idea of thinking that like you're the one that has to make it happen or that like you need to do this and really zooming out and really asking for divine help, really connecting to whatever it is that you believe in, whether that's, you know, Jesus or God or universe, but really asking for support and asking for help and connecting to that. Cause, and I feel like we, I feel like this was similar to last week. So, but, uh, this is like, we're being too human about the things that we're asking. Um, instead of just like releasing it and being like this thing that I'm trying to bring in or this thing that I want is not necessarily like for me, it's for the greater good. Um, it's for, um, it is of God from God. And if that's hard to do, like just realizing that everything that you've already have um, like was provided for you and starting to look at like how everything has been provided for us. So like even like food, if you can track food from like where it came from and just be like, oh my gosh, like the earth provided it for me and then these people and that there's like, that you're not the one doing everything, <laughs> you know, um, that you're not the one making everything happen, um, that there's this much greater system that makes these things happen. And therefore, what you're asking for right now, you don't need to make happen. There's a much greater system. So really um, going into a place of like, if this is for me, God, um, may, may it come, 
you know, to me, if it is, so this is like whatever you're asking for, using a lot more prayer to bring it in. So if this is for me, um, like please bring it, bring it in. If it's for me, please show me the steps. Please show me the guidance. Um, please bring this, you know, like please allow me to see how I get there. If this is not for me, please move me into the other, uh, the other path, the correct path. So this is a, a surrendering of it, it's it's kind of releasing that attachment of what you want, surrendering to to the idea of it. Um, and seeing if, if it is for you, then please show me the way there. And if it isn't for me, please show me the new path for me. So just a, a surrendering of what you want, okay? All right, cool. Card number two. Okay. Intention. Butterflies. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. Okay. So this is kind of connected to the last one. So intention is this idea of like, okay, well, you know, what I want, let's say is, um, I want, you know, I want money. I want financial security or whatever. So my intention is, is really about why I want it. And that's the thing I wanna focus on more and not necessarily worry about how that comes in, about how that money comes in or what my plan is. So this is a releasing of like the hows and the more, and more of a focus on the, on the why, um, like why I want this, why I desire this, like why I know it's gonna work on me. So much higher picture of what you want and releasing more of like how that, how that comes in. Um, also just setting the intention that like God is good and that, you know, the universe is good and that like the, that love is good and that it wins, um, and really setting your mind on that awareness, that consciousness. So plugging in to that love vibration and just being like, it always pans out good. It always works out. All, all is well. Um, I may not. It may not look like that right now because I'm still in the middle of the movie. I'm still in the middle of the book. Like I'm in the middle of it, so I don't know how it ends. But it always ends well. It's always end well for me. Um, it always pans out for me. It's always in my highest and greatest good. And really keeping your mind in that, you know, you may not see the end or the product or like where it's going to happen, but it doesn't matter because it always works out for you. Um, that you know that. God is good, the universe is good, love is good, spirit is good, source is good, and that I believe, I live in a world that there is always a happy ending, um, and that all, things always do pan out. So much higher intentions. Um, there, this is not a time to be super specific, like we can't, you know, we can't be. So this is more about, um, as simple as like, am I gonna plug into, you know, fear, or am I gonna plug into light? And all the things that I'm concerned about, I'm going to plug into light, where has, which has a lot of different um, possibilities, a lot more opportunity. I might not, I'm not gonna get caught up in not being able to see like every single step, but that I do believe, and I'm okay with the mystery, that it is all, it always works, it always pans, all is always well. We've been living for so many years, we still exist. Um, everything always does work out. And that is where I'm setting my intention. So really about like, this card is asking you like, where is your mind at? What are you plugged into? Um, are you plugged into a belief or a source and energy that is supporting you? Or is it is it taking you down the wrong path? And I pl there's two things that we can plug into you guys. Like it's fear and love. Um, and there's obviously a lot of categories that could fall under that, a lot of subcategories, but like it, it, what I am putting my mind at, is it helping me or is it taking me away from um, what I really want? So this is really about your mindset. This is what this card is about, okay? It's your intention, where's your mind at, keeping it there and that it always does pan for you. Like it always does. So if you wanna believe that, then it pans for you, okay? It's a good card. All right, guys. 
thanks so much for being here with me today. Um, thanks for spending time. We have a lot of cool content coming